This is the Colorful Eye Game Vulcan GeForce RTX 3080, and they sponsored this video to have me show you guys a couple of its unique features. Number one, it's got a flippin' screen on it. And number two, it has a one-touch overclocking function that'll apparently take it from around 1700 megahertz to, I don't know, Nicholas wouldn't tell me. He wanted to leave some intrigue in the video. And I've got a special surprise for you guys. I'm gonna give you the full deets later on, but before this video is over, we are going to give it away. That's right. You can't buy an RTX 3080, but maybe you can win one. Ah, yes, a driver disc, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Nobody includes those anymore, but it's still in the shape of a CD because old habits die hard. There's a quick guide. There's other more different something that's also in Chinese. What the hell is this? No, wait, oh, it's bring your own white glove service. And the best part, I think these are Asian sizes because they fit me. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. Included screwdriver and what seems to be some kind of like support bracket. I don't actually know if this is a support bracket. It looks more like a little headphone stand or something. Like, look at this, what, is, what, the, what the devil is this? Wingardium Leviosa. I think it literally just, oh, it's magnetic. Okay, that helps a little. Oh, wait, oh, hey, no, he, he got it. And see, I faked that one. All right, let's peel this off. Here's our screen though. That's actually pretty big. We'll see how chunky the bezels are though. Ooh, turbo button. Matte black PCB, check. Triple fan cooler, check. It's freaking heavy. How many heat pipes is that? I think it's six. And there's a vapor chamber. This is like a damned annual moment, right? Vapor chamber on this side. Then heat pipes over to the other side. This thing's got all the freaking cooling. 2.1 kilos, is that right? Dang. Triple slot design. You can use your graphics card as a controller for an additional RGB strip. So that's handy. No way. And they use a type C plug instead of one of those crappy micro USBs for the internal USB connector. I like it. Good job. Triple eight pin power connectors. All right, let's throw it in. Oh, fun. You can flip up the screen. If you got like that vertical mount GPU going on, you can make sure you got it at the right angle there. Oh, wow. I can see why this thing needs a support bracket. Like just that sound. You can just tell it's heavy. This is why graphics cards have gotten so expensive. It's like a hundred dollars in copper just to make the thing. There, that's how it's supposed to go though. Okay, that's not the dumbest thing ever. Whoa! Now I thought you could just do like JPEGs or GIFs or whatever, but that's like, that's gotta be at least 30 Hertz. Dang! First things first, let's fire up the iGame Center. That tells us our GPU fans, oh, we're running at 0%, but they've actually just kicked in. They're running at, oh wait. Yep, they're back to not spinning. So that's cool. It's got a silent mode when it's not doing anything. Okay, got your RGB controls. Let's go with rainbow. Okay, that's a pretty sick RGB lighting thing they got going on on the back there. So you got two separate zones for the triangle around the logo and the logo itself. This is a great little dashboard. This is basically like hardware info. It doesn't have a lot of the more advanced functionality of hardware info, like being able to pop out the graphs or log, for example. But this is most of what anyone would need to know. Generic memory? Hey, that's Ballistics Max. Generic memory. Okay, so you can pretty much just select which ones you want. Dual screen display, wait, what? Oh, cool. You can have a clock on your graphics card. Like I game until it's time to go to bed. There, custom data. The software interface could be better, but I think I got this figured out. So I got the time on the right, and I got a GIF on the left. This is freaking awesome. Is it GIFs only? But just, you can do like kind of high quality ones because that display looked pretty high frame rate from what I was looking at before. That's interesting. The GIF runs at normal speed if you've got the clock next to it in dual screen display, but runs at like 2X speed if you just have it as a single one. 
So there's definitely some work for them to do still on this software utility. Let's try the one touch overclocking. GPU clock and GPU temp. That's basically all I care about, hey? You said this thing was gonna run at 1700 megahertz or so, it's at 1980. You know, this is what I don't get about manufacturers including like overclocking buttons with their RTX 3000 cards. Cause like for the last few generations now, Nvidia has been all like, oh, well, you know, we'll just have it dynamically use all the power and thermal headroom that it's got. So like overclocking's kind of, kind of dead. I don't know, we'll see if it does anything. We're running at 52 degrees so far. Of course, we're not rendering much at the moment. All right, let's see how toasty this puppy gets. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. We're sitting at around 180 frames per second. This is running at 4K and I'm pretty sure we're maxed out. Ultra nightmare. Is this card running at 63 degrees? Can I trust that? Mode cryo. Oh yeah, let's suck another 200 watts here, shall we ladies and gentlemen? Now this is not a warm room, but it's also not like cold. So that's what 2.1 kilo. I mean, it's not like the heat sink is cool to the touch or anything. So let's get average clock speed for like, let's do like a, like a three minute run or something like that. Resetting values and go. I'm going to just run around down there and try not to die. Okay, it's a one minute run now. Average 1857 megahertz, got it. Now for the turbo button. No brain spider. Take that brain spider. Blah, blah, blah. And we averaged 1853. But by and large, Nvidia's automatic optimization features seem to be working as intended. Of course, it stands to reason that unless I go into overclocking software and start tuning power limits, that it's not going to go any faster. And besides, you guys don't want a pre overclocked card when you win your RTX 3080, do you? So head over to lttstore.com. Sometime in the next 24 hours, randomly, it's gonna appear there amidst the t-shirts and hoodies, high quality water bottles and all that good stuff that we've got there for the price of one US dollar plus shipping. You're just gonna have to cover your own shipping if you're in like Timbuktu or whatever. So there you go, that's the details. We're gonna announce on Twitter once it's gone up and someone's bought it. So be vigilant, ever vigilant and bots won't work because there's no existing page for it, so. Thanks again to Colorful for sponsoring this video and for giving us this graphics card to give away. If you guys enjoyed it, maybe check out our full coverage on the launch of the RTX 3080 to see how it stacks up with the rest of the GPU world.